I can't shoot. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Gundam Battle Operations 2 video. Today, I'm in a desert gym. Desert gym is a support type. I like to, I kind of tend to lean towards support types. This is, I think, my maybe, I've had the desert gym for a while, but I never really got to use it. This is a, I think this one's a level one, so it's a, no, it can't be, a, this is a 300 point machine because there's a freets in this match so but yeah we lost this match and I didn't do particularly well but it was a fun match so like it was unexpected for how this level normally operates it was interesting because normally people are going to start barreling over but instead this team decided to go around the back and I really like that I made that shot that I actually hit that gym striker. Yeah, see, there's an Afrit. It's just the standard one. The standard Afrit is a general. And I hit the teammate, so I told him sorry. I I, I should have named this episode Gominosai, but because I say sorry a lot because I hit my teammates so many times. And I just don't do that great. I cannot shoot for some reason in this match. Man, that Afrit, like, I... I keep jerking at the last second. I should have been able to take out that Afrit so easily. Yeah, this was an enjoyable match because it just, I don't know, it went differently than most matches here do for me. I'm not a big fan of this map, namely because when this map came out, for like three days it was just this map on low cost, uh rooms or low cost like rated and quick matches i like playing low cost like two to three hundred cost because you don't get like super duper ridiculously overpowered mobile suits i don't know why i fired off all of my missiles from the rail cannons little under barrel missile launcher but i did so i think the desert gym was originally part of an event for halloween for last halloween it eventually got added to the uh, gotcha, and that's where I picked it up at. And I think it's currently in the recycle ticket store. I think it was. Or did it get added to the DP store? So I guess I can explain what that stuff is, because I meant to do it in an earlier video and never did. So there are several ways you can get mobile suits in this game. You can play the gotcha, spin the lottery. It costs three tokens for a single spin. It costs 30 for a 10 spin. You, you spin the gotcha... You, yeah, I decided not to jump up there because they were commencing support fire, and you will see that it lands on top of my teammate up there. But anyway, you could spend the gotcha, and you can get mobile suits that way. It's random. You might get mobile suits. You might get weapons, which is all I've been getting because I want the damn... The current promotional suit is a Zuda F, and I, lore, I already love the Zuda. So I knew that Jim Striker was going to do that, so I just waited for him so I could counter him, and then I still get my ass probably kicked. But anyway, the Zuda F is the current promotional suit. I love the Zuda F, and I want it, and I rolled for it, and I can't freaking get it. All I've gotten is weapons. I did get something. What did I get? And I was like, oh, that's cool. I don't remember what it was. Oh, the Dom experimental, high-speed experimental type. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it's random. You can get mobile suits, you can get weapons, stuff like that. You can go to the recycle ticket store which has a set number of, a set list of machines. I think each day at each reset it changes. Or you can go to the DP store. So tokens you can unlock by doing daily missions and monthly missions, and you can get them in uh, material crates at the end of matches, which that's random, completely random. You can buy tokens, which if you want to buy tokens, you go buy tokens. You do you. I bought tokens. I'm going to continue to buy tokens. It's a free-to-play game, that's how the devs are going to make money and keep supporting it. Anyway, DP you get for just about everything, and um, you can buy uh, mobile suits and weapons with DP, but you can only buy certain machines and it's based on your rank. Like, I think I'm only, because I don't play all that often, or I didn't, I'm only like a Lance Corporal, I'm almost a Corporal, but like, there's a lot of ranks recycle tickets you get anything any dupes you get from the gotcha will give you recycle tickets in place of a dupe you'll get recycle tickets and you get um points towards enhancing the mobile suit and the hangar which i haven't done so i'm not even going to get into that 
So there's my really bad explanation for ways to get mobile suits in this game. There's a gym sniper custom. I don't know why he decided to sit there after I had tagged him. He should have moved, but he let me tag him again, and I knocked him off, and that's when I think he decided to screw off somewhere. No, I think he's jumping back up because he's just standing there. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Also, you can get mobile suits. At the end of matches, I think it's in one of my previous videos you see it, but I get a... It says Recon Team File Materials. You can get mobile suits in those crates, too. You can either get a bronze crate, a silver, or a gold. I think bronze crates can have a one-star mobile suit or DP. Silver crates can have a two-star mobile suit or DP. And gold crates can have a three-star mobile suit or, I think, three tokens. If I'm wrong or anything, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll correct myself. I haven't... I played a lot when I learned that this game... I downloaded this game when it came out and played a little bit. And then I played it more when the English language uh, update came. And then I just stopped and I haven't played it since... Well, until the North America official release came. And I picked it back up. So things have changed, things are different, there's stuff I don't know. And with it being close, well, it's October, I'm sure they're going to do some kind of event. I know the last thing they did was the gym custom, and I'm upset that I didn't get it because I just wasn't in the mood to play the game, and I'm very bummed that I don't have a gym custom. Hopefully it makes the rounds of the art, uh, recycle ticket store like uh, Garrett Schmitz or Zaku did. So yeah, I guess expect an event. I don't know what they could do they wanted to do like a special event suit because there really are no uh, Halloween themed um, people well there is Jack Bayer who's a Federation pilot and his birthday is on Halloween and his nickname is Jack the Halloween the only thing they could do though is he pilots a regular gym but I think it usually has two beam sabers so that's they could do something like that but I don't think they would who knows you never know so yeah, this team just kept us here the whole time. And we've got an okay team comp on my side, but yeah, you win some, you lose some. This was a fun match, though. I played a bunch of rounds when I recorded this one, and I had some where it was just utterly frustrating because I said it in a previous video, you don't have to bunch up together, but stay with your team. That's a regular Zuda right there that just got his ass handed to him. But stay with your team. You're way, way more likely to actually be helpful if you're together instead of just wandering off and trying to be a hero. Though we are staying together here, but we're not very coordinated. So, I mean, it happens. Like I said, you win some, you lose some. But some of the matches I played, my team was just... Oh, and don't leave your supports out to try. Your supports are there to support you. They're there to help. Don't leave them out to just die. I mean, I'm not saying if, like, one of them says, hey, if they use the support me tell, which I need to change that. I don't like that it says support me. But if one of your, if your support is back trying to help you and they get, you know, swarmed, you should at least take an attempt to go, hey, I'll try to help. If you have the ability. I'm not saying you need to drop everything and go help them, but... But anyway, I've rambled, and the match is over, and we lost. I don't think I did anything worth noting. No, I didn't. But anyway, as always, I'm going to leave a link to Flail Through's channel in the description. He's going through some stuff from what I have seen. He's in the hospital, but last I heard, he's doing good. So that's good. He'll hopefully be back soon. And anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Have a good one. Later.